Hey there, Josh Dennis with 1215daytrading.com and I want to give you a tour of my free Monday trading plan subscription. Now for this subscription, you will only be able to see the trading plans I post on Mondays. If you want to see the free trading plans I post every day, then you would need to sign up for the daily trading plan subscription. But for the free Monday trading plan subscription, every Monday you're going to see which stocks I'm watching and how I'm going to play them. If Monday falls on a market holiday, then I'm gonna post the plans on here for free the next day on Tuesday. Now, once you log into this platform, the first section that you're gonna see on here is a start here section. Now, this is just gonna have some general information and a few resources you can have access to. I have an affiliate program where you can earn recurring monthly income just by referring someone to a paid product. I do private one-on-one -on -one video chats if you need a little bit extra help, but before doing this I first suggest that you take all my courses as I'm sure a lot of the questions that you may have will be answered in those and then right here I have my trading plan results and statistics so that you can keep track and review the statistics of the strategy that I use now these are going to consist of all my trading plans not just the ones for Monday so if you are wanting to keep track of the trades only posted on Mondays then you're gonna need to refer to each date that the Monday trading plans are posted and review them yourself now the plans only given on Monday have about the same win rate as the the daily trading plans it's just that there's not as many plays of course now let me go back to the home screen here and show you the next section and this is where all the trading plans are going to be these are going to consist of carefully selected stocks that I'm able to create a high odd trading plan around before the market even opens now all of these are going to be posted in the trading plan section every Monday about 30 minutes before the market opens. So that's going to be 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time every Monday. And once they're posted, you'll see the new updated plan at the top. If you do not see it within that time, just try refreshing the page every few minutes or so until I've uploaded the list. I try to upload these as fast as I can, but if there's a lot of stocks to analyze on a particular day, it might take me a little longer to complete them. But inside each of these trading plans, you're gonna see which stocks I'm watching, the major support and resistance levels that that stock has, a recent news headline if it has one, and the price levels that I'm looking at in terms of an entry, a stop, and a target range. And then down here, I have the game plan on exactly what I want to see the stock do before entering into a position. Now this right here is very important because the reason these trading plans have a statistical edge is because they look for confirmation that price will likely continue going up once they hold key levels. And to get that confirmation, the price has to behave in a certain way depending on the situation that's happening at the time price is nearing that entry level. Since these trading plans are released so far in advance, it's impossible to know how the stock is going to behave around the entry level. So right here is where I give some possible scenarios the price can behave in, and depending on the scenario, that's how I will identify confirmation and enter into the trade. So again, this section right here is where I write out those possible scenarios and how I plan to enter into the trade, but I also give an illustration of these scenarios, making these easier to understand. So if you go right here to where it says click to view entry method illustrations, it's gonna pop up some graphics of the entry methods I may use and the patterns I'm looking for around the entry level and where I would place my buy order to officially trigger an entry. Now this might be a little confusing at first, so I encourage you to study and memorize these patterns. Maybe print these illustrations out and put them around your trading computer so it's easier to know exactly what to look for when a stock officially triggers an entry from the game plan. And then the last thing I have on these trading plans is a chart illustration showing the price levels I'm looking at. So if you click on this link right here, it's going to show you the entry level I'm eyeballing, the stop loss price, the take profit zone, and the general direction I want to see the price go in. So as you can see, by using these trading plans, the work is basically already done for you. All you have to do is make sure that you take the appropriate position size, which I explain how to do in all my free courses, and be disciplined enough to actually stick to the plan. I cannot stress enough 
how important it is to stick to the plan. Only enter when the stock triggers the proper buy point, start taking profit once it's in this target zone, and then of course if the trade doesn't behave the way that we want it to, stop out once it hits the stop price. Because if you go against the trading plan, then you're not going to see the statistics that these trading plans have shown. Now, before you use real money trading these plans, I highly suggest that you practice these trades in a simulated account first. It's just going to take practice learning how to calculate the correct position size, understanding the patterns of what to look for, and placing different order types so that you can get into the rhythm of things. If you don't have access to a trading simulator, go to tradingview.com. They have a really good free one to use, and it's also a really good charting platform. Now, every Monday, you're going to notice that there's only a handful of stocks on here, and on some days, there's not going to be any stocks at all. And the reason for this is because I only list the stocks that meet all the criteria I'm looking for. If a stock does not make it on this list, there's either something about it that I believe makes it high risk, or it's not behaving in a way to make a highly predictable trading plan for. The goal of these trading plans is to provide you with winning trades. So I only put the best of the best on here to maintain that high success rate. I won't put any risky plays on here just to put something on the list, which is why on some days there won't be any stocks on the list if there's nothing checking all the boxes I look for. So on those particular days, I either don't trade or I continue to watch any previous trading plans that have not triggered an entry yet. Now, not all the stocks on this list will trigger an entry on the day that it makes it on the list. Sometimes they will trigger a few days later. So once I post the trading plan on Monday and it doesn't trigger the entry on that day, don't forget about it because it could trigger the entry later on in the week. So this is why on every single one of these plays, I like to set an alarm on my charts to let me know when the price is getting close to the entry spot that I'm eyeing. That way, I'm gonna be alerted if the price ends up getting close to the entry spot. Now, once a play has triggered an entry or too much time has passed without triggering an entry, then that play is officially over with. I won't use the same trading plan again because by that time, the trading pattern would be completely different than what the original plan was designed from. So when this happens, I will update each plan to say that it's been voided and I will no longer be using that plan. You can go to each trading plan to see if it's been voided, or you can scroll down to the bottom of the current day's trading plan and see which ones have been voided or which ones I'm still watching. And then one more thing that I want to mention about the trading plans is I have a couple of trading plan recommendations up here. The first one is that the plays are really designed for the entry to be taken during regular market hours. I don't recommend opening a position in pre or post market because stop losses don't work, the volume is lighter and the spreads are higher, which could lead to more difficulty. It's okay to close a position in extended hours, but opening one can be a little bit more risky. Now you can open a position in pre or post market if you wanted to, but I just suggest you only do so if the volume is sufficient enough, but you just have to be a little bit more cautious. And for that reason, I only trade and keep track of the trading plans that trigger an official entry during the regular market session. So hopefully, with the help of these resources, you'll be able to accelerate your journey to becoming a successful trader. But it's just gonna take some practice and experience and some guidance to get there. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me anytime on any of my social media pages.